Hey YouTube, thought I'd give you an update on the Holga tanks. Stay tuned and check it out. Hey YouTube, Brian here. Just coming at you today with an update on the Holga tank. Amphilophus Holga boomerums. As you can see, we've got a divider in still. The divider came out today. Within an hour, he started just beating her worse than he ever has. You can see she's pretty beat up right now. Sucks. It's actually worse on her other side if she turns around. You know, it's funny because I had him divided for about two weeks. And uh, he was so subdued. He barely did anything. He was, I mean, I've never seen... If I, would, if I didn't know any better, I would say he was sulking, just sitting over on this side of the tank, just whining, basically, not doing much of all, much of anything at all. I took the divider out after I did a water change today, and uh, he wants to get over there now. Um, and instantly, she colored up. I'm thinking, wow, this is great. They were swimming around together nicely, getting reacquainted. Everything was fine. Then he started chasing her, but he wasn't nipping at her. And I kind of let him just be for a while, came back down, and they were doing a little lip locking around the flower pot, and her color was awesome. You know, the red on the bottom especially was just looking great. He was colored up nicely. He hasn't completely faded back to where he was before I took the divider out, but he's on his way, I think. Things were going real good, and then... Like I say, they started lip locking, and then I noticed a little aggression, but I just kind of left it alone, thinking it would be all right. Went upstairs for about an hour. Now I came down here, and she was up in this corner over here, and he was just going after her, man. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's frustrating, but oh well. I'll just keep on. I'll divide him for a while again, let her heal up, and give it another go. I mean, they, they tried to spawn once. They, you know... The eggs never hatched, they ate them, but... So I know they can do it. Um, I just don't want to ha continue to have these guys divided. Um, I'd like to know if they're going to, you know, form a pair bond or not, and then I can decide if I just want to have this, this beast as a wet pet. He's growing like crazy, man. I mean, it's just awesome. Awesome, awesome fish, but I'd rather have, have them pair up and spawn and you know their, their their colors are just so much better when when they're paired off like that and, and bonded so that's what i'm still hoping for but just wanted to give you guys an update let you know what's going on with that um this little area of my fish room downstairs here is going to change at some point here i'm not sure exactly when but i've got as you can see here another brand new tank and then over there, another brand new tank, 75 gallon, 125, um, thinking about getting maybe two more tanks too, what I'm going to do is build some stands down here, probably have like an L-shaped deal in this corner where this table is will be or another rack, and then an 8 foot rack here. Um, not quite sure how I'm going to do it yet. I've got a few different ideas, but you guys can be looking for that coming up. Thinking about getting a 120 gallon Fat Boy too. Um, if I did that, probably what I would do would be stack that and the 90 where this table is right here. And then I'd build an 8 foot rack with two 75s on the bottom and then the 125 on the top. And then uh, get rid of the 55 and the 45 here. Um, but I'm not quite sure how it'll work out. Got word today that one of my local fish stores is closing too. So she'll be selling uh, selling off uh, some tanks um, from what she wrote on Facebook um, as she um, dwindles down her inventory. So maybe I'll pick something up over there if there's something that works out for me too. We'll see. But anyway, that's uh, that's the update for now. Thanks for watching as always. Make sure you go check out Aquatic Support Systems on Facebook. They are the exclusive bulk dealers of Southern Delight Fish Food. 
Check out all the other members of Team Aquatic Support. Their links are below. Check out the Cichlid Life on Block Talk Radio. Check out the Hydra Forum. Oh, one more thing too that I thought was kind of interesting. You can you can see this real quick before I go. Um, the, when I when I divided these guys off the first time and this time too, the Pleco that's in here, <laughs> he he ended up being trapped on this side. So look at all the algae on this half of the tank on the both of these panes of glass and on the back wall and on the rocks. And over here it's virtually virtually clean. So thought that was interesting too. But anyway. Thanks for watching everybody. Stay tuned for more videos. Later.